Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech channel. Today we're gonna see how to use this uh, module. It's an RTC, it's a DS1302. So like what's an RTC? It's a real-time clock. So it should we program it first to give it the correct uh, date and time. And then uh, after uh, like uh, after time, even if it's not uh, powered or something, it should give us like the real time and and clock. So that's why it has like uh, this uh, bat battery cell. It actually should send for several years. I don't know if this uh, Chinese version can uh, like uh, last this uh, last uh, this long. But actually, the real ones always uh, last uh, for like. Uh, 10 years or something and that li like them you can find them in the computers and uh, uh, telephones or uh, something it's like uh, that's way the, uh, the system or the program can know what time it is if it's like sleeping mode or uh, need to log some data or something so today we're gonna use it with Arduino Uno and I'm also gonna use like my LCD I2C screen, you know I always uh, use it just to show it like uh, uh, to show easily, not using like the serial monitor or something and so I actually I don't recommend buying this version the DS1302, I recommend another one uh, sorry I forgot the name, I will include it like uh, in the video uh, actually it has like a lot of problem uh, first of all is the power power you can actually power it with 5 volt or 3.3 volt but uh, some of them doesn't work with 3.3 volt also like uh, the it has a prob grounding problem or like you should add uh, resistors and sometimes it works sometimes it's not but the time is always co counting but just uh, sending the data to uh, Arduino sometimes cause a problem so here I just le leave, left my uh, jump wires here It's uh, like uh, has mal pins, normal mal pins I just uh, left my wire here so it doesn't take a lot of time to wire And here I'm gonna wire it and show it like with, uh, with using a library It's a very simple library to use So first I'm gonna wire it Here I have VCC I use with the f 5 volt and as always I leave a link right below the wiring and the codes I'm using ground with our ground and then like we have this uh, clock and the 6 and that with 7 now I'm gonna upload a code it's a very simple code I'm gonna show it to you how it works So here is the code I'm using, it's like really simple uh, thing to this uh, library, it's Virtual Robotics RTC, I'm gonna include in the link, uh, the link to the library, how to download it and add it to your uh, project, it's very simple, we'll just declare like uh, the pins where the RTC is, is connected, here we are using the 6 for the clock and 7 for the date and 8 for reset. And here is where you set your uh, your uh, RTC. First time you should uh, set it, but then you don't uh, you don't uh, set it uh, every time. Just one time, and then you do like uh, this. You command it. You you shouldn't like uh, always uh, upload the, the same uh, setting and the date is changed. So here we set like as you want. Here we have seconds, minutes, hour to there. And then we have the day of the week. Uh, sorry, I'm not using it right now. Then we have date of the month, month and year. And like uh, you can set the numbers, you know, numbers from like 1 to 12 for month and uh, 1 to 31 for, uh, for uh, like days or 30. It depends on the which month. It will like uh, adjust automatically. And then we should like have this my RTC of the time. It gets the time uh, from the RTC. And then I'm gonna just show it on serial print. You see how like this is simple. And 
sorry it just uh, like print the day of the month month year and you can switch from day of the month and the month if you want it just depend on the system you are using and then we have like a delay from like uh, one second here I've just uploaded the code and this is like my time and days for now I'm gonna show it like first in the monitor screen and as you can see current date time this is it oh we are on 14 like uh, January and this is time right now here and like even if I unplug and plug my Arduino should have has the same t the real time and so here I'm gonna add like my uh, uh, LCD I2C screen so I should like use the uh, ground and uh, the VCC I'm gonna take like a use a breadboard sorry should actually have used this but uh, that's not a problem should unplug my Arduino before doing anything So if you want to know how my LCD screen work, uh, just check my previous uh, tutorials. It's very simple to use also. Is everything okay? Okay, we can work. And so if, please, if you have like a problem with this, and you should like use the an, an resistance between this wire and Arduino. I'm gonna see if this happen. I'm gonna use it. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna just show you uh, how to do it. It's very simple. Just a uh, resistance in line with the with the date. This date pin. I'm gonna now upload the code for this. So I have just uploaded my code. Actually, now there the uh, RTC is uh, like uh, actually the real time. But as you can see in our like Arduino, we get this crappy time. Uh, so now you have this module. I like actually have a lot of problems, and I wanted this to happen so to show you the solution. So what uh, uh, we just set it from like uh, just uh, two minutes ago, and actually it should have the real time. And but the, uh, the module has uh, in like the real time, but it's not delivering us the the time we want. So here we should add a resistance and this is how I've already prepared in our breadboard. So I'm gonna just take the wire for the date and here we have this nice date. And we added a one kilo ohm resistance in line with it. Here we have our real LED in real time. It's 14 January 2018 and it's like uh, here 9 p.m. 25 and you can see it just like if you have this problem you just add a resistance I'm gonna remove it sometimes it works sometimes not uh, before that I've been using just uh, directly but now I just wired my LCD screen and this problem showed up but we have a solution for this so this is it for using the real time clock and in the link right below you're gonna find the uh, in links right below sorry you're gonna find how to use this uh, module and we're gonna find the link for the wiring and also the codes I've used with like comments I'm not a give, I'm not give you like raw codes but uh, which comments so you can understand easily and that's it. Thanks you for watching and see you next time.